We need ability to adapt ourselves to whatever the condition that we are skiing on, whatever the condition the Mother Nature gives you, so you can make the most out of the day on the mountain. G'day everyone, welcome to Beautiful Travel.com. My name is Yusuke, I'm an NZSI examiner as well as a technical team member. I'm based in here in Wanaka, New Zealand and Niseko, Japan. Today I'd like to share with you the five different turn types that I believe the versatile skiers should have in their pocket that they can pull out to the condition wherever the mother nature gives you. So the first turn we're going to be looking at is a calved medium to long radius turns. We like to use this turn type first thing in the morning on the beautiful corduroy. When it's really nicely groomed, you can go fast and get the control and feel the force on your outside ski and feel the nice flow. So when we try to carve the turn, the common mistake is often we move our upper body down the hill or inside of the turn too quick and we lose the pressure on the outside ski. So to improve your carving turn, the focus would be nice stable upper body, especially when you're changing the edge from the one set to the next set of edges. Make sure your belly button, the center of gravity is over the base of your support, which is your skis. So the short turn looks like nice rhythmical small turns. And we like to use short turns when you're on a steeper terrain or the narrow terrain the way where you want to control your speed going down the hill. And the short turn will be successful by making that nice steering angle at the start of the turn. Be patient to grip your outside ski before you twist your skis too quick. The mistakes we tend to make is that we turn the skis too quick as it's called short turns then we tend to make the turn too short that we don't create the nice grip at the start of the turn. Tip to make your short turn good is to make sure you flatten in the skis because the ski naturally gets the angle as you are on the steep terrain. So you need to flatten the skis in order to make a steering angle of your skis to engage your outside ski early in the turn. Mogul turns look like very dynamic, athletic, rhythmical short turns over the bumps. We like to use this turn type when it's very bumpy, mowgli or trucked out. And what makes this turn type successful is the active use of the hip joint, especially when we want to tip the skis down the hill. The common mistakes we often make is because we get a lot of impact as you hit the mogul and then you forget to extend your legs back, especially from the hip joints. So my tip for mogul turn is to make sure you, when you hit the bump, we need to observe the impact closing your hip joint. But as you go over the bump, we, want, we don't want to lose the contact of the tip with the snow. So we open our hip joint so we can keep the tip of the skis contact with the snow. Right, so this turn type called pivot turn, it's made up word of the steering and the pivot turn. So what this is, is that you're going to make a little bit of steering at the start of the turn and you want to carve the second half of the turn and this turn is really good when you are going down a nice groomed terrain you're in high speed a little bit steep but you can get the good speed control at the start and you can shape the turn in the size you like the common mistake we make is we turn the skis too much or we don't turn the skis and the skis are too flat that you're sliding across the hill too much and you don't get the nice carving feeling at the end. My tip will be to do some exercise like side slip, to tip the skis, to grip the snow and get that nice feeling of side slide into grip and then put that into the top of your turn as you're moving across the hill. Side sliding a little bit, tip the ski and carve to get the nice dynamic feeling of the carving turn. So this turn type we are looking at is a powder turn. It's a really nice floaty, playful turn type. Obviously we don't have powder here today, but you know, I'm from Japan, so I, I wanted to share this idea with you today. Arguably my favorite turn type. This turn type can be successful if we have a good understanding of the ski design, why the tips wide, narrow waist and the wide tail, especially on the powder skis if you look at them, and also use that nice momentum through the powder. 
So a common mistake what we often make is that we try to turn the skis too much as the powder around the skis resists your skis to turn too much but gives you nice sinking and up and that motion. So we tend to turn too much and that makes us um, unsuccessful in the powder turn. So in the powder turn, as I said, it's nice floaty bouncy turn that we want to use the wide tip and wide tail to hold the snow and the narrow waist to sink down so we arc vertically as well in the snow as well as laterally and use that nice momentum going up and down and use the nice flexion of your legs to come up on the ski up on the snow feels the good flow that makes your powder turn successful so all the turn types that I shared with you today are not the only turn types that you can make yourself a better skier, the versatile skier. There are many other ways to make yourself a good skier and if you have any good thoughts please comment below, we'd love to hear your opinion as well. And if you like this video please hit like and subscribe and hit the bell mark as well to get the notification and hopefully I'll see you skiing powder in Japan.